Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. Today, I am going to tell you guys about some of my favorite underrated Netflix shows slash movies and why you should watch them. Just as a disclaimer, this video might be all over the place so just bear with me. Also, if you like the video please subscribe and like so I can make more for you guys. Now, let's get into my favorite things on Netflix. Number 1, Tab Hunter Confidential. This is a documentary on the life of an actor named Tab Hunter, who was a closeted gay man in the 1950s. The film features interviews from Tab and other famous actors of this time including, Debbie Reynolds, Robert Wagner, and many others. The thing that I like most about this film is the editing and the use of old footage from the 1950s. This movie gives a lot of insight into how life was for a closeted, gay man trying to make a career as a heartthrob for teenage girls so I would highly recommend. Number 2, F is for Family. This is a cartoon show that takes place in the 1970s and is about a man named Frank Murphy who is trying to navigate the world with his wife and three kids. The thing I like most about this show is that it can have very crude and inappropriate humor. It is not afraid to push the boundaries and it has a lot of references to the 1970s so I find the show very enjoyable. It already has three seasons so I would say that it is a good binge watching show. Number 3, Amy. Amy is a documentary on singer, Amy Winehouse. The film features personal footage from her life and talks about her upbringing, her rise to fame, and how drugs slash alcohol led to her downfall and ultimately, her death. One of my favorite things about this doc is that it features interviews from many different people, but it never shows their face so you are fully focused on Amy's life. I can say that this movie will definitely change the way you look at Amy Winehouse. Before watching, I only knew one song, but now I am a hardcore stan. If you don't watch anything else that I recommend, at least watch this documentary because it will change your life and it will also give you some new music so that's a bonus. Number 4, Instant Hotel. This is an Australian competition show where couples battle it out to see who has the best instant hotel or bed and breakfast if you are from America. This was one of those shows that I did not really think I would like at first but I decided to watch it anyway because it kept coming up in my recommended. However, I am happy I did watch it. The show surprisingly has a lot of drama and I now feel like I am an expert in interior design. It currently has two seasons so have fun binging. Number 5, Girls Incarcerated, Young and Locked Up. This show shows the life of teenage girls who have been sent to Madison Juvenile Correctional Facility in Madison, Indiana. It tells you the girls' stories shows their day-to-day -day life. The show highlights the highs and lows of the girls and I feel that this show is very important. Like Instant Hotel, this show only has two seasons but it is so good so please watch. Number 6, Paradise PD. This is another cartoon show that is very inappropriate but is still really funny. It is about the police force in the town of Paradise. All I really have to say about this show is that it is really weird and random but still good so go watch. Number 7, Bondi Rescue, this is an Australian show about the lifeguards at one of the most popular beaches in Australia, Bondi Beach. It shows the lifeguards in their day-to-day -day lives and I find it really entertaining to watch the lifeguards save people. Some of the things that they do are saving people in the water, helping find lost children, and sometimes they help bring people back to life. Overall, I would highly recommend. Number 8, The Ranch. The ranch is about a man named Colt Bennett and it follows his journey after he comes back home to his family's ranch. This show has very crude and southern humor but I still find it to be entertaining. It is also a good binge watching show as it has over 80 episodes and each one is about 40 minutes long. Well guys, that is it for my Netflix suggestions. If you liked the video, please subscribe and like. Also, leave suggestions of how I can improve my videos in the future. But bye.